Hey everybody, welcome back to The Way of Ramen. Well, I caught a cold, so we're gonna go back to the quick and easy series this week with a recipe for an easy tan tan men. This recipe actually comes from this guy, the original Iron Chef Chinese, Chen Kenichi. It tastes great and it's pretty easy, especially if you already have some toppings prepared. Even if you don't have any toppings ready, I'm gonna show you how to make a quick and easy niku miso, which goes great with this bowl. All right, let's get right into it. So we're gonna start off by cutting some green onions. We're just gonna give them a rough chop because we just want the green parts. We're gonna save the white parts for later. Next, we're gonna slice up a very small piece of ginger. And smash and peel a few garlic cloves. We're gonna use all of this to make what's called a negi abura or scallion oil. Get some vegetable oil into a pan and fry the green onions, ginger, and garlic on a relatively low heat for about 10 to 15 minutes. You want to go low and slow for this and let all the flavors really infuse into the oil. After about 15 minutes, you can remove the aromatics and strain out your oil, and you have your scallion oil ready to go. We're gonna use this a few times for this recipe, so it might be a good idea to make at least half a cup of this stuff. Next, we're gonna use that scallion oil to thin out some tahini. Make sure you get a brand that uses roasted sesame seeds, or if you can find nerigoma, you can use that too. Get some tahini into a small bowl and stir in some of your scallion oil. What we're trying to do is thin out the tahini and infuse a little bit more flavor. You want to get this to a pretty runny consistency, and Chen Kenichi calls this a chimanjang. I think that's the Chinese name for this. Next, we're gonna make some niku miso for topping. This is not required, but it's a pretty common topping for tan tan men, so I'm gonna make some. We're gonna start off by mincing two cloves of garlic. Then I'm gonna mince up one very, very tiny piece of ginger. As well as some of the white parts of the green onion that we used earlier. Got some of my scallion oil into the pan, and then I added the minced garlic, ginger, and green onion. And give that a quick stir, and then add about 200 grams of ground pork. Now my pork came from the freezer, and it was still a little bit frozen, so it might have been a better idea to do the pork first, to prevent the aromatics from burning, but meh. Anyways, get everything mixed together, the pork cooked, then deglaze with some water. Add about a teaspoon of chicken stock powder, about a tablespoon of red miso, about this much sugar, and about this much soy sauce. And give everything a mix, get everything combined, and then we're just gonna cook this down until all the water or the liquid evaporates. And once it kind of looks like this, your niku miso is done. You can put this on the side for later. Like I said, this is gonna be easy, so get 350 milliliters of water and just add one teaspoon of chicken stock powder. Heat that up, and that's gonna be your soup for today. Okay, that's pretty much all the real cooking we're gonna do. Now it's time to put it all together. Into the bowl, add some white part of some green onion as well as some zasai. One and a half tablespoons of soy sauce, one teaspoon of rice vinegar, about two tablespoons of your thin tahini. You can add as much or as little as you want. Start with two tablespoons. About one tablespoon of your scallion oil and some rayu. This is the Chinese chili oil. You can just add as much as you want to make it as spicy as you want. I'm using store-bought rayu here. Drop your noodles into some boiling water, set a timer, and then add your chicken stock to the bowl. When the noodles are done, shake out any excess water and then add them to your bowl. Fold them to make a platform for your toppings. Then add about two tablespoons of your niku miso, some green onions, and if you want, some blanched baby bok choy. Finally top with some additional rayu to make it a little bit more spicy. And that's it, a pretty easy, delicious bowl of tantan men. And if you like spicy ramen and you don't have a lot of time, this is a great one to make at home. I hope you give this one a shot. It tasted great, as expected from the original Iron Chef Chinese. 
I had made a video a long time ago with a tantan men recipe using a Costco chicken when I first started this channel, and honestly, that bowl kind of sucked, and this bowl tasted a lot better. I didn't know what I was doing back then, well, I still don't know what I'm doing now, but this one does taste better. If you're against instant stock powders, like some people are, you can feel free to use some real ramen soup for this, and if you want to swap the soy sauce for a shoyu tare, you can do that too, and you can call this a real bowl of tantan men. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, for all the love and support. I really do appreciate all of you guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.